Ladies and gentlemen, I had to hop on today to let you guys know the Season 4 Battle Pass skins are being leaked one by one. We're going to be talking about that today, as well as our first look at a teaser, news about a potential live event, and even confirmation that we're getting a new Iron Man mech. So let's jump into this. First off, the skin that everybody knows by now is going to be in the next Battle Pass is Gwen from Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. This is pretty exciting because this also means that we might be getting Miles Morales in the item shop and the leakers seem to agree that that's the case but there's more skins that are leaked in the battle pass that we're going to be talking about later in this video but what this means is that we might see a return of the spider-man mythics people really like the spider-man mythics some people hated them but they decided to add the grappler glove this season to kind of have like a we have a spider-man mythic at home alternate item but we could be getting some new mythics that belong to Gwen or even some new mythics that belong specifically to Miles Morales. Now I want to talk about the Iron Man skin real quick. As you guys know, Fortnite and Marvel, they have their comics that they do. And it has been confirmed that after the last issue of the most recent comic comes out, there's going to be an Iron Man skin rewarded to those people who have that initial comic. But one important thing to know is that the Iron Man mythics have actually been updated. So we might be getting the Iron Man mythics back with this iron man skin now it doesn't stop there with iron man guys hear me out the mechs haven't been in the game for a while we had them you know briefly in chapter two but we have a new mech that fortnite has been working on for a while now it's a different kind of mech in the game files it's actually called plate hawk and, and this mech operates a little bit differently it can sprint it can block it sounds more of like a defensive mobility mech and now we have confirmation that the hulk buster mech is coming to the game plate hawk was most likely a code name for the hulk buster because the hulk buster just made an appearance in the most recent fortnite marvel comic Oh, I love the manic skin, man. But I have to take you out. It ain't gonna happen, buddy. It ain't gonna happen. We can dance all day. We can dance. I'm not hopping on the hood. So we got our first teaser of season four, and it was accidentally posted on the Nintendo shop. And it's a picture of a hand coming out of some like dark liquid. Do we know whose hand this is? We actually do. It belongs to Paradigm, who is a member of the Seven. And Don Mustard has recently been teasing heavily that Paradigm is going to be voice acted by Brie Larson, which also means she is most likely going to be a battle pass skin. And we're going to have some sort of Paradigm unmasked, similar to how we had. Uh, Similar to how the rock was unmasked as uh, the foundation, it seems like that's going to be the case with Paradigm. I'm getting out of here before uh, Darth Vader destroys me. Now, we're definitely going to find out more information about Geno, right? So Geno is like the new or the main bad guy that we've seen uh, in the last event. The foundation and Jonesy went after him, right? So that's all we really know about him so far. He's he's the leader of the IO. We've seen him in a picture. But we, we might actually have our first look at what Geno is going to look like. Um, and the reason why that is... Oh, my God. GG. The reason why we're probably gonna know is because there was a survey skin that recently happened and this survey skin kind of showed us an early look at what Geno's gonna look like he looks a little bit younger but he still looks pretty cool you know in my opinion honestly sometimes these survey skins are leaking a little too much This is the pickaxe strategy. You hit him twice, so you get max damage. And then you pull out your pump. You take him out. As you guys know, the late game arena has returned. And it might feel a little different to some of you guys. And that's because late game arena was actually created 
on Creative Royale. Creative Royale is like a mix of the current Fortnite map plus creative. It's gonna allow people to create creative modes using the Fortnite map. This is a big deal because we haven't been able to do this. A anytime someone creates the Fortnite map in creative, it has to be reconstructed pretty much from scratch, which is a pretty challenging thing to do and it takes a lot of time. But it seems like Creative Royale is on its way to come out and it's gonna give people that chance to create Fortnite modes and maps and things like late game using the, you know, creative tools plus the Fortnite map. What's the theme for season four, right? It could be some sort of throwback because there's a lot of things that are being updated in the game files and it is gonna be Fortnite's fifth birthday on September 26th. So maybe they have something special planned. But what we do know is that the motorcycles are most likely gonna be a vehicle that comes in season four because they were leaked this season and teased this season but they actually got recently removed from the game files. Now, what we know is that when Fortnite removes something from the game files, it means they're planning to add it into the next season. That has happened plenty of times before. Now, speaking of an event, update 22.51, and usually they don't have an update that late into the season unless they have something planned like some sort of event. Is there gonna be an event with the reality tree? It doesn't seem like it's building up for that, but what has been building up is rumors of maybe Lady Gaga having a concert. We see her in an emote uh, that recently came out out or that's coming out we see her on the radio there's a lot going on hinting that there could be some sort of lady gaga concert maybe another rift tour uh, we haven't had a rift tour in a while but we did get debated with the uh the m m leaks we thought there was gonna be some sort of m m collab and that didn't happen so but it is going to be a Halloween season, so Fort Nightmares is making a return. The zombies are also most likely making a return, and the the Storm King got updated in the game files. So if you guys remember, there was a Storm King LTM that happened way back in the day. He most likely will return, maybe in a new LTM, or maybe he even returns in game somehow. Reliable Source has leaked that there could be a Lord of the Rings collab in season four, and of course, Family Guy has been teased like a thousand times by now. Maybe we'll finally get Family Guy in the next season. But like I said. There is one more skin in the battle pass to talk about, and this one is an interesting one. It's a it's a classic from chapter two. Meowsles is returning in a goth punk rock uh, look. Honestly, very, very interesting look for Meowsles, if I do say so myself. Sheesh. Oh my God. We do know how this Meowsel skin is gonna look, as you guys can see. Not too sure how to feel about him. Honestly, I didn't really use Meowsels that much, but he was a fan favorite back in chapter two, season three. So that's a, that's a lot of different battle pass skins. GG. Guys, what do you think about season four? Be sure to like and subscribe for more season four content coming your way.